104.7 The K, Fleetwood Mac, Gold Dust Women. Good morning. I'm Mike, the intern. And Jimmy Page oversaw the Led Zeppelin 4 and Houses of the Holy reissue that was just released. Sound incredible. So, Jimmy, what's the deal with Led Zeppelin? You guys getting back together? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Seven years ago that we did um, the O2, and that came out as Celebration Day as a DVD. But that's a long while. That's a long while not to have had any sort of serious, I don't know, idea or will or whatever to do that. So I suppose if Led Zeppelin, you know, if you talk about that, I better get, I better go and have some singing lessons. Apart from that, next year I intend to be doing uh, my own set. I've got new material, and of course we know I've got old material, and um, I want to go out there and showcase what I do. We'll get to more with Jimmy Page on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave. I'm Mike, the intern in the studio this morning with Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Now, tell me what the concept behind how you put together these companion discs for the reissues was. The whole of these companion discs, you see, are not supposed to be just a couple of bonus tracks. They're supposed to be sort of serious, seriously put together so that it gives more information on everything. But um, it just gives an opportunity to put forward some of these mixes, which are really, you know, t- terrific. So what were the interesting tracks that you saw when you were doing this reissue? There's a version of Stairway that was done at Sunset Sound, which I thought was really superb at the time. And it's um, a really interesting mix in stereo, and it has like 3D perspectives in it. It's almost like an audio file mix. I always thought this was a really good version, and I'm really happy to be able to present that. It's a deep cut from Ted Nugent, Fred Bear on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Bon Jovi and Runaway. I'm like the intern in the studio with Jimmy Page this morning now. Now, how much work is involved when you do something like this reissue project that you've done? I believed in the idea of this project. I had to leave no stone unturned in the search of finding the material. I even checked out all the bootlegs that were out there of the so, you know studio material that managed to sort of leak out in the past. Nothing had leaked out of my vaults, but nevertheless there had been things that were out there. I had to check everything and it was a weighty project. It was a project that took hundreds of hours of listening. Now what was your goal in putting together some of the uh, companion audio discs with the original records? It was done to give more information on the studio albums and the times that they were recorded. And it was done for the people who listen to Led Zeppelin. By that, I mean the fans. Thank you so much, Mr. Page, for your interview this morning. You're a fantastic guitar player, and I've loved every one of your riffs since day one. We'll get to a six-pack of Pure Classic Rock on the way next on 104.7 The Cave.